Okay, next stop we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taken over. Oh, oh, yo. His next place, Tom. His name I hate Eugene. driving here. He's a Chinaman. And this but is the old times and I hate driving now. That's what we called him. Bali slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Why are you guys talking like it's the funniest story ever? That's sad. The Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Great. Now we have to threaten people, possibly. Come on, man. Why can't we just get the money and then just be on our way without any fights whatsoever? Like, don't get me wrong, if I need to confront people, I'ma do it. But, I'm the type where I let trouble look for me. I don't look for trouble. Yeah, I don't like driving. <laughs> I really don't. But then again, I'd rather drive here than present day. Where the traffic is twice as hard. Crashes are twice as lo Twice as likely with way more consequences. This is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video, share my video, leave your comments because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, subscribe to my channel, please. That way you'll be able to see daily gaming content from me. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so we're going this way, right? Oh my goodness, this car, the turns on this car. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the handling, but... Alright, we should be good. Oh, stop honking at me, bro. Come on. We definitely need some sort of lights here. This is it. Okay. Right here? Cover this one, Sam. Yeah, yeah. You sure? Oh, sure, I'm sure. So what? I mean, I had a job. I got a work ethic. He's doing the store on his own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his Aww. way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. I just hope Polly isn't gonna do anything stupid. Oh no. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Damn. I feel bad for him already. What the hell is he doing in there? Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Oh, really? Come on, Pauly. You really had to oh, beat him up, down. huh? shop counters yeah seems like it's not too hard not hard kind of not hard i don't know comes natural to you guys don't see why it can't come natural to me so anyone could do this me and polly we've been working these streets for years you come in and you think you know it all i'm not saying that sam i you've been a day on the job pal you haven't seen what we do you haven't seen how we do it sam i think you ought to know polly this punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I'm not even saying like that, but... I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. 
Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate Woo. most places. That was a quick worse. turn right there. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even the role? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Okay, sounds like a good deal. Starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks. You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing Ooh. some booze handover or something. It's always Move. shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tara. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Great. I don't like driving here anymore. I really don't. I don't have any patience. Did you see how I almost crashed into that other guy? As if. So annoying. But I gotta admit though, this countryside here is beautiful. If I were to live back in the old days, I would definitely want a house out here in the sticks. Because the city is definitely not for me. I do love the cars though. This is a nice car. If I had enough money in the world, I would definitely get the classic cars. Right here? Wow. Okay. Nice. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Just don't don't do anything stupid. No smoking. Never mind. No smoking. What the hell? Tom! Tom, I, I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. What happened to the other one? Phil, they're trying to get information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, what wait. the hell? Get Sam out of there. Okay, okay, just hang on. What the hell, bro? Hey, yo. Come on. Shit. I can't even get in through the front. The audacity. I thought this was going to be a nice, simple mission, but nope. Wait, right here. There you go. Next time I'll tell him. I'll tell him I had enough of this bullshit. You ain't You're telling him right shit. Now. There you go. There you go. All right, pick up the body here so no one can see me. And I'm gonna dump it right here in the corner. Can I get the gun or not? Nah? 
Am I in here? I'm actually in. All right, let me go save Sam because I'm not going to leave anyone behind. Wait, who's there? Chill. I like how he's just standing there. No? Is he really standing? Can I, like, shoot? Well, he doesn't want me to shoot. What am I gonna do? I don't even know what to do. A bat? I mean, honestly, do I want a bat? Probably not. How would I save Sam? All right, all right, let me see if I can find another spot here. Wow, so is that? I'll take that. And now I got two guns. Woo, my goodness. What's this? If I'm able to find some more stuff, I'm going to take it. This is really nice. How am I supposed to sneak past him without alarming people, though? You feel me? I guess I really gotta have to shoot, huh? I don't see anything else for me to take here. And I assume this door leads to the back. What about here? Yeah, I'm searching. I'm looking. Got him. Shit. Damn. Alright, who's coming? I guess I really gotta shoot my way out of here, huh? Uh... Come here. Oh! -ho -ho! Dead. Who's next? Oh, shit. Shit. Whoa. Right in the face. Next. Yo, he got me good. He really got me good. Alright, who else? Who else? No? Alright, let me get my first aid kit here. How are you gonna go and... Bye. Woo! Anyways. Anyways, I guess I gotta take care of all the thugs. Bring prosperity, Roberto, something, something. Cool. Pull up. Pull up. Let me use the other gun. Not really. Got you. That's right. You mess with my friends, I'm gonna kill all of you guys. Bye. 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 Yeah, he's pissed. Come on. Pull up. I know there's one of you left. Where you at? M let me switch. Bye. Come here. Alright, I got everything. The fact that I had to... Whew, get everyone. 
Is there anything I can take? Thank you. Is there anything I can take from here? Oh! Okay, got it. Sam. Really you good? Like to work on you, buddy. Come on. Christ. Come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Shit. <laughs> Woo. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. <laughs> Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Let's go get the money. Okay, cool. I got it. I got it. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Okay. There you go. There you go. Goodbye. You little... You little rat. Look at you. Thinking you can get away. Nah, my watch. If I'm able to kill off all of your guys, what makes you think I won't kill you? Nope. Bye. There you go. There you go. Boom. There you go. Come on. Did I get him? Perfect. Come on. Let's go. He's dead meat. Come on. Come on. Let's go. You little asshole. Come here. Bye. Bye. I have a shotgun. You really think you could hit me with a shot with me having a shotgun? Come on. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Nope. Enter Mezzo. So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just don't yep. look. I wish. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money, and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. Uh-oh, I see him checking out. Oh! Damn it! Who the hell crashed Go into on. him? You're with your goddamn eyes closed. Look at this. Who is it? Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello. I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then I, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I was driving real slow. Look at him changing his I'm attitude this now. Is my fault. No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. Damn! Right in the middle of the street. He don't care. And the cops don't do anything. Wow, he really has... 
That guy really has the whole city in his pocket. Someone spun you a tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Merle made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh? Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, wow. Sam says he's the guy to beat. He, was. he must be really good. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. Mm. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. So what do you want me to do, boss? What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ah. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? Shoo, I like this plan. I mean, what's the point in being fair anyways? Race day approaches, and I assume that's the European. I can't Look wait to get portion. his car. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. For you, maybe. Those broads, not so much. Damn. The five, the six. Hey, hey. Buona sera, Tom. So that's a Ralph. Five, the six. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, Tommy. Big hey. Day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a, a message. So, mm -hmm. tonight. We would borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. Yeah, like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lil Lucas Bertone. You take yeah. the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take Sounds the car like a plan. Back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Got it. Oh, hey, hey. If you yeah. need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate you, buddy. You're the best. 
Wow, so I can own six cars. Ooh. <gasps> a bike? Nah, I'm gonna use this. Oh, Haverly? Oh my goodness, I'm excited. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness, I always wanted to ride a bike here. You know, don't get me wrong, I love the classic vehicles. But if there's a chance for me to take a bike, of course I'm gonna take a bike. I love my bikes. All right, all right, let me see, let me see. Oof. All right, so the brake is pretty nice. I know, if my guy is like wiggling so much, it's because of me. I'm wiggling the left hand joystick. Shut up, I wasn't gonna crash into you. I know how I'll drive. All right, this is nice. Oof, uh oh. Okay, I do know how to drive. I just gotta get used to the sticks, that's it. Don't judge me. Okay, the handling isn't too... It's okay. Could be better. But nonetheless, I'm good. Alright, so I gotta meet the guard at the racetrack. Question is, would this mission go pretty well? Knowing my luck? Probably not. But I'm preparing for the worst, expecting for the best. You Bobby? Yep. We can take my car through to the garage. It's a ways off. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. If you got Thank money, you. Sure. So get in. Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Like what? What have you seen? Because it sounds pretty alarming to me. Alright, I'm here, right? Okay. Okay, this is it. Mmm, this is a spot, huh? Oh, I hear a wolf. So that's the car? 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. Yeah. They see this down the road. Cops are gonna ask questions. And they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? Got so, it. I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I've been told. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Oh, this is a speedster. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh! Fuck! Damn, I'm already crashing. Uh, okay, so clearly this, this car is a little too fast for me. I don't know how much I've wrecked it, but all I know is this car is messed up. That crash right there? Mm -mm. I know the axle's messed up at this point. We Okay, I'm not gonna put too much gas on it. Oh my goodness, this is so horrible. I mean, I don't mind doing a joyride, but this is dangerous. Are we even near the place? I hope so. Oh! Oh! The traffic. I'm just so glad there's no trains here, honestly. I would have cried.
Okay, so I gotta do this in less than three minutes, right? Ooh. Car is crashed. That's cool. I crashed it twice, but the thing is still in one piece, ironically. I'm surprised. But then again, this is game logic. I put it on easy mode, so it wouldn't be too bad. I have to drive this across the city? Okay, I'm really gonna try and make it. Woo! I know he's gonna need to change his brakes after this. Damn. Will I make it? Let's see. I hope so. I hear the train, too. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, looks like I made it. Right here, right? Look at that. I actually made it with a minute and a half to spare. It's Ami Angela. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? Yep. We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Okay. Hello, you. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.